Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable two-factor authentication on your Facebook account. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is sign into your Facebook account and then select your profile icon in the top right. And then you just left click on it. And then select settings and privacy. And then select settings. On the left panel, underneath Accounts Center, you want to select Password and Security. And then on the left side, underneath Account Settings, select where it says Password and Security. Underneath Login and Recovery, select Two-Factor Authentication. Select your account you want to set up Two-Factor Authentication for. And then at this point, you'll see a little blurb here that says you can add extra security to your account. Two-Factor Authentication protects your account by requiring an additional code when you log in on a device we don't recognize. So if you want to turn this on, they usually recommend by using the authentication app on your computer. You can also select an authentication app on your phone, which will generate codes when you're trying to sign in on an unrecognized device. And if you have your phone, you'll get the app and you'll have to get permissions to it. You can also select a text message option, which will just send the code to a phone number you choose, as well as security keys. So if you would rather use a security key connected to your device, you're welcome to do that as well. And then you just would follow along with the on-screen prompts, and that's all you have to do to set it up. Now, if you wanted to disable two-factor authentication, all you would have to do is just come back in here, and then you would select your profile, and then there would be an option to disable two-factor authentication. You would likely need to insert a, either a code via the text message feature or through the Authenticator app in order to disable it. But once that's done, it would be removed. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.